welcome back to my channel I know I have been MIA since giving birth pretty much it's three months since I've given birth since I uploaded my last video which was my um, labor and delivery video um, yeah three months postpartum let's just say that postpartum depression or baby blues um, however you want to call it is very 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 real and I feel like it's not talked about as much as it should be um so with that being said yes I have been struggling um with myself personally just after giving birth trying to find myself again trying to get in the swing of things trying to adjust myself to being a mom of three because now I have three um it has been a challenge to say the least and then with this whole coronavirus like it just makes everything 10 times like harder for me um i am a stay-at-home mom so i don't have to like worry about going back to work and leaving my kids like somewhere but it is a huge challenge because i pretty much gave birth to damien my mom left I believe like three days she was here for like three days after he was born because she had came like a whole she literally came the day I was supposed to give birth March oh my god when was I supposed to give birth I was supposed to give birth March 11th I think that was my original due date was it I think that was my original due date March 11th and so she came the 12th, March 12th. Um, I did everything. I did every single thing I could to get him out. But he just, he was not having it. He was not having it. And um, actually, let me know if you guys want to know like a labor and delivery um, story time. So I can go into detail on how everything went the day I went into labor. The process um, I had a lot of scary things happen to me before giving birth so yeah let me know if you guys want to see that type of video I would be more than um, excited to make a video like that for you guys but long story short baby boy was born March 20th so by the time he was born my mom had to leave three days after he was born and with this whole coronavirus like I pretty much was like blessed enough to wear like all those strict reg regulations and like strict rules on like who can be with you when you're giving birth and all that like they had just started putting them into place so they weren't like super strict when I gave birth so when I gave birth um, I was only able to have two people with me in the delivery room um your significant other and then a support person so thankfully my brother also came down with my mom so he was able to stay at home with my daughters while i was laboring at the hospital so my mom was there my husband was there um and then when you got transferred over to postpartum um they didn't allow any type of visitors at all so like me being a third time mom, I didn't have to stay in the hospital for two whole days like a first time mom would. I was able to go home the next day and get discharged. But my daughters were not able to see their baby brother until I brought him home um, because the hospital was not allowing like any children at all because of the whole like COVID-19 situation going on. But let me tell you, I did not know this whole like COVID-19, Miss Corona, I didn't know she was going to last this long. I didn't know it was going to evolve into like what we're going through um, in this society, in this world. It's crazy. Like she has even messed up my vacation plans because we were supposed to go to Florida in July uh, for a family vacation and to present baby boy to God back home with family and friends and that doesn't seem like it's going to happen because 
For those of you who don't know, I am a military wife. My husband does serve in the Air Force. And for all like DOD and all military personnel, um, they have a travel restriction right now. So like every base is different on how far they can travel outside of base. Where I'm stationed, where we're stationed in Washington, Joint Base, um, Lewis McCord, their restriction is 250 miles. So we cannot travel uh, farther than 250 miles in Washington or outside of Washington. So yeah, with that being said, my husband did put in like a request to see if we are able to still go. We're still waiting on that. And we are like five or six days away from leaving on our vacation. So that kind of sucks. But at the same time, like it is what it is. I really can't, I can't, I can't do nothing about it. Like that's just, that's just how it is. It sucks. So if we're not able to go in July, we're definitely going to push and try to see if we can go in August or maybe in November for my birthday but as of right now I don't think it's gonna happen if it does great but um, if you don't see any like Florida vlogs up on my channel anytime soon then that should give you the answer that it didn't go through and we were not able to go to Florida so that's pretty much what has been going on I have been quarantine and chilling at my house i feel so bad for my daughters because they have literally been quarantined like we they have not gone out in the public like that like as far as like shopping or like public areas they haven't like we've taken them out on like drives you know so they're not stuck in the house like that all the time or when it's like pretty sunny outside and it's not raining because i live in washington so it is the evergreen state it rains all the time so when it's not raining i do take them outside to get fresh air play for a little bit then they come right back inside and my son has only been out to his appointments and pretty much it like we we really haven't gone anywhere it sucks it really does suck um my daughter finally graduated kindergarten she had to do like virtual learning you know i had to finish her schooling here at the house and then she did like uh they did have like a drive-by graduation for them at the school so that was cute um yeah that's my update guys i have been trying to just adjust to the new normal because this is the new norm so i have been trying to adjust to that on top of being a mom of three, on top of just dealing with my personal um, personal issues going on, like I have better days, and then some days are just I'm just blah, and I don't know how to express like what's wrong with me. I don't know how to express like what's going on. So it definitely is a challenge. But yeah, this this is my update um there's actually a lot of things that are changing for me and my family um can't really say much but in the future videos or vlogs that i post you guys will be seeing the upcoming changes that'll be going on but for now that is my update sorry that i took so long to upload a video um baby boy is three months now he is such a cutie pie he's getting so big so baby boy actually woke up from his nap so i decided i would just show you guys my little baby boy this is damien He's a big boy. He was born 8.4 pounds, I think 21 inches long. Right now he's 15 pounds. But this is him. Say hi. Um, everybody says he looks like his dad. But 
I don't know. What do you guys think? Does he look anything like me? At all? I am nursing him. Full-time nursing. So, this is Damien. Damien Josiah Lariano. Say hi. Say subscribe to my mom's channel. Like this video. And comment down below, guys. It's so weird to like to like say I have a son because I was so used to just girls, you know, I have two daughters. But this is my baby boy. I am obsessed with him. He's my baby. Bendakeshi. We do talk in Spanish to him just because I did that with my daughters as well and I would like for him to understand and speak it first and then we'll teach and introduce like English to him, but yeah. Dile adios. Dile bye. Say subscribe to my mom's channel, guys. He's looking at all the lights, my ring light. But but thank you so much for stopping by my channel. Thank you for sticking through and not unsubscribing. And if you're not subscribed. What are you waiting for? Go hit that subscribe button, hit the like button because every time you hit the like button that lets me know that you like my videos, that you're watching and then of course drop down in the comments below any type of idea of a video you would like for me to make or just stop by, say hi, you know, let us just know that you're watching but thank you so much and until next time guys.